From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your morning update. American Door Company has been family owned and operated for over 29 years, supplying Northern California with quality garage doors, garage door openers, and installed with the best service you'd expect from a locally owned company. We serve all of Northern California from Willows all the way up to the Oregon State Line. Give us a call today. Well, the first day of the Reading Rodeo, which was on Wednesday, the temperature was close to 100 degrees, but didn't quite reach that. Then we saw about a 5 to 10 degree drop, so low 90s, and we expect pretty much more of the same here for today. Maybe just a tad warmer uh, for parts of the Reading area, but you're talking about low 90s by the time gates open. By the time the event starts, which is actually uh, at 7 p.m., yeah, it starts at 7 p.m., be around 89, 90 degrees. So yeah, temperatures are starting to drop, and as we get uh, toward that sunset, well, it looks like uh, conditions will be better for today. All right, so not as warm over the next few days. We're seeing that trend here. We're, we're kind of leveling out in the low 90s for the next few days, but then we'll eventually start to see cooler temperatures toward the end of the weekend and beginning of next week. In fact, highs much closer to normal by next week and still looking at the potential for some mountain showers by the middle to latter part of next week. But that really all depends on if we can get the storm system far enough south and if there's really even enough moisture for it to really work with. So your neighborhood forecast for today at a quick glance, yes, it's gonna be a warm day in the valley, temperatures in the low 90s, but you head into the mountains, pretty warm there too, upper 70s, some 80s in there, upper 80s for Trinity County, low 80s for the Eastern Mountains and for the North Coast in the mid 60s. And I do expect to see a bit more sunshine there as well. So when we look at future cast, here's what we've got. You've got a few clouds coming in this morning, but it looks like as we go through the afternoon, we'll actually get to see some clearing. Some afternoon clouds developing in some of the mountains. And you see here, there may be a stray shower for eastern Plumas County, but don't count on it. But that's certainly something don't be surprised if you live down south of uh, Susanville, uh, southward. Uh, you know, there may be a stray shower late in the day today, but overall, fairly dry. Then we go into Saturday, see how we have some low clouds kind of hovering around the Eureka area, some of those inland areas as well, and those inland valleys. So we can see that for Saturday morning. Saturday afternoon, that clears out again, and we're looking at mainly sunny skies for the rest of us. Now, let's talk about that fire weather risk. This is something that we've got to start thinking about on a regular basis now that we're kind of getting into the fire season. Now, you can see here for your Friday or today, we're looking at those winds coming out of the north. Now, the winds are going to be fairly strong. Now, we're not looking at really, you know, gusty winds by any stretch of the imagination, but they will be breezy at times. Now, that's going to elevate the fire danger a little bit here, but we're basically kind of in that low to moderate range here. But what happens is we go into Saturday. We're going to see a pretty strong wind coming in from the north and west. And look what happens to that fire danger, especially to the north and west side of the valley. We're getting in that high range, the orange is there. Now, one thing to take note is you've got those winds coming in from the northwest. That's the drying north wind. But to the south of that, look at the winds. They're coming in from the south. That tends to be a cooler and less in the way of dry air, okay? So we do, it's still fairly dry air, but it's drier air if it's coming in from the north. So it looks like conditions may be a bit better to the south of the Reading area on your Saturn. Now the temperature trend, yeah, we're kind of leveling out over the next few days. It's not until the second half of the weekend, beginning of next week, that we'll see temperatures drop down to the 80s and even some low 80s around normal by the middle and latter part of next week. Now, just kind of give you an idea of the mountains, kind of the same trend, leveling out, right? A little bit warmer on Saturday, but temperatures kind of going up and down a bit. But eventually by, you know, the middle to latter part of next week, we're looking at temperatures below normal for this time of the year. In fact, we could even see that on Monday of next week. So you get the idea as we take a look at these uh, temperatures, even for the mountains, kind of on that downward trend, especially for next week. So it's hot, hot the next few days, but then it'll cool off. Now, the reason being is we've got these storm systems running to the north and it's been pushing that heat to the south and west. So our first push of cooler air will be here by around Sunday, but most of that cooler air will be to our north. So this is just going to help to drop our temperatures down a bit, still above normal for this time of the year. That then moves out. We see a little spike up in our temperatures early next week before the next round of cooler air begins to move in. Now, initially, this looked like it was going to shift a little bit more to the south and give us significantly cooler temperatures. But it will be a shot of cooler air 
than this first initial sh shot that I just showed you earlier. So it will be slightly cooler and that should drop those temperatures right around normal for the valley and for many of the mountain areas, maybe even dropping below normal for this time of the year. Now that does shift a little bit to the south and then shifts eastward. And then we've got to watch some of this warmer air as it tries to move in. But bottom line, I'm still not seeing any major heat waves in the forecast anytime soon. We take a look at the temperature outlook and you can see this coming from the Climate Prediction Center. We're kind of in that cooler than normal range. So let's talk about rain because there's going to be a lack of it. Yeah, there may be some rain up to our north and there may be a few showers trying to come into parts of the mountains, especially to the north and east through next week. But you'll notice the trend is fairly dry. So when we look at precipitation outlook, it kind of puts us in that near normal range. But again, we're just not seeing a lot of that moisture coming this far south. And of course, drier conditions off to our east. So again, that's something worth watching. But as it stands right now, not looking very promising for much in the way of rain. Your wave heights, well, they are going to probably increase a little bit here this afternoon. We take you into your Saturday. Those wave heights may drop a little bit. But bottom line, through today, Marine forecast is calling for a hazardous seas warning for today with those north winds at about 20 to 30 knots. All right, so here's your Trinity County neighborhood forecast. Yeah, not much change. You're talking about temperatures upper 80s uh, to low 90s. Uh, and we take a look at your forecast here for, especially for Southern and Central Humboldt County. You know, those temperatures for the coast are gonna kind of just average out around 60 degrees, give or take. So we're not gonna see much variance there it's the inland areas, the mountains, uh, the, the valley, that will see that bigger stretch of cooler air coming in for next week. But there you can see 61 for uh, Eureka, 84 degrees in Garberville. We take you up north with 82 for Gas Key, 74 degrees for Smith River, and 68 degrees in Trinidad. All right, your Siskiyou County neighborhood forecast. There you can see 77 degrees for Fort Jones. You see how temperatures kind of go up a little bit on Saturday, then down, then up a little bit, but there's that bigger drop of the temperatures by the middle to latter part of next week. That's also the case for Modoc County with that bigger drop. But for, for today, yeah, it's going to be a warm day. 72 degrees for Candy, 73 degrees for Calpines. Uh, there you can see Eagleville, about 75 degrees. Now for the Eastern Mountains, we're mainly in the 70s and 80s. 82 degrees for Shingletown, 73 for Viola, and 82 degrees in Paradise. And your Valley Neighborhood Forecast brought to you by NorCal Tractor. It's a warm day. Temperatures uh, into the 90s. 93 degrees for Los Molinos, 93 for Chico. And uh, there you can see 93 for Redding, 92 degrees for the city of Shasta Lake. We've got 88 for Whiskey Town and 91 out in Lakehead. All right, so again, as I mentioned, as we look at that seven day outlook, we're kind of leveling out in the low 90s for today and tomorrow. But then we see a slight dip for Sunday, Monday, dipping even more by Wednesday and Thursday of next week, next week with temperatures right around and maybe even just below normal for this time of the year.